I make radioisotope batteries or portable nuclear power supplies. Radioisotope batteries have the advantage of operating non-stop for the duration of the isotope, uh, which means that these batteries can provide power for up to around 400 years. They also have the advantage of uh, not being pressure or temperature dependent, meaning that they can operate in outer space, inside the human body, like inside a pacemaker, or in high pressures within the deep ocean. Nuclear batteries have been looked at before, but traditionally they use man-made isotopes from our nuclear weapons program. My technology uses isotopes that can be found in spent nuclear fuel. This is important because it drastically reduces the cost while uh, massively increasing the potential efficiency of the devices themselves. For example, traditional radioisotope batteries use man-made plutonium-238. This costs around $90,000 per gram. I'm looking to use isotopes from spent nuclear fuel, which can cost as low as $45 per gram. The current radioisotope batteries actually have an efficiency of around 1 to 6 percent. I'm hoping to get efficiencies around 30 to 50 percent. Radioisotope batteries have the advantage in that they last for the duration of the radioisotope. This can be up to 400 years for some materials. I am focusing on the energy conversion mechanism itself rather than the battery design. My conversion mechanism uses a plasma to convert ionizing radiation from any isotope into electricity. This means that I can match the isotope to the industry need and in making my battery the most efficient and effective for a given application. As I started to develop this project further, it became readily apparent that I was going to need a large facility to do this work. The Department of Energy invested $500,000 for me to come here to Argonne National Lab in the Chain Reactions Program, where I get to use their linear accelerator and develop my proof of principle and prototype here. This drastically cuts down on the product development cycle of my technology, enabling me to get into the market about a decade sooner than I would have on my own. Currently, I'm looking for non-dilutive funding such as government grants, as well as a corporate partnership for someone who could help me develop my prototype and actually begin the manufacturing process on nuclear batteries. My technology is not only more efficient, cost-effective, and the supply of isotopes is abundant, but my technology is also safe.